Hi guys. Well, it has actually turned into a lovely fall afternoon. <laughs> at this point anyway, here at Bugs in a Jar Farm here on, uh, <coughs> where are we? Tuesday afternoon, September 28th, and I have been up here slaving away, digging all of these holes in the ground to, uh, bring these buildings up from Florida to uh, rebuild my outdoor kitchen up here at the Pond View campsite. And uh, good God, just giving my, my uh, what is it called, my herniated rib a pounding with that goddamn post hole digger. That's just sitting here, I've been thinking about um, walking with feet in both worlds. The whole concept, you know, just realizing how completely fucked we are, not having an apocalyptic, hopium soaked bone in my entire body, yet I just keep, you know, just keep plugging along like it's just, you know, any other day. It's just a regular day on the planet sitting here moving uh, this goddamn lumber all around the country, you know, the, the these cypress trees that were destroyed in some, uh, in some cypress swamp in Florida, and now, uh, you know, loading them up on some big-ass gas-sucking truck and hauling them all around the damn country, and uh, how many more bags of concrete going into uh, this foundation, uh, blah the fuck blah, y you know, just, just why in the hell am I doing this, y you know, for this Airbnb, uh, the, the hilarious ironies of Hambone Littletail running an Airbnb that, you know, the hip camp kind of made sense for me. But uh, the, the hip camp isn't doing jack shit. This is this Airbnb. Uh, I have suddenly, that, that has become my new job, to, just out of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> sitting here, to, to, to spending uh, all of my, you know, when I'm not talking about the collapse of a fucking planet, uh, I'm, I'm out, you know, buying sheets and towels and making all these plans to expand my little Airbnb um, empire up here uh, in, in the end times. Just, just thinking that all of this tourism is going to keep right on going, that this economy is going to bounce right back. And, uh, you know, you know what, what the fuck else uh, am I supposed to be doing with my goddamn worthless life? You know, I, I sit here and uh, if I just sit here stewing in my butt juices, who used to use that term about stewing in your butt juices? You know, just sitting around uh, like a fucking bump on a log, uh, stewing in my butt juices, uh, like, like, like what the fuck? Uh, you know, I, I just go into this black hole of depression so just, uh, you know, just purely something to do with my fucking hands to keep myself, uh, uh, you know, from pulling, putting a fucking bullet through my head. You know, just walking around with my feet in both worlds, you know, sitting here dealing with, uh, you know, dealing with this goddamn car inspection. Uh, and all of this shit, the, you know, getting, getting a, a, a tags for my fucking trailer and getting my truck inspected in a few days, seeing what bullshit that's going to come up with and blah the fuck blah, paying these goddamn tolls at toll booths. You know, all of this shit is getting ready to go out the fucking window. 
but right up until the day that Mad Max takes over, you know, how much of our fucking time are we going to be dealing with this fucking bullshit like, like toll booths and, 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 fucking, uh, and, and fucking vehicle safety inspections and, and, and all of this crap that uh, that we have built up in, in, in this society that has nothing to do with fucking anything. Uh, it, just, it just keeps us clueless little fucking morons occupied. But anyway, in the, in, in the middle of all of this, uh, in, in the middle of all of this, uh, thinking uh, about walking around with feet in two worlds, one in the Dumasphere and one in the Moranosphere. As long as I was over there in the Moranosphere, I, <laughs> I, I absolutely love this story. So guess the latest chapter on this insurance story. Uh, remember when I, when I, uh, you know, I, I bought this fucking truck with this salvage title in, uh, in Texas, brought it up here to New York, spent, uh, good God, how long trying to get goddamn insurance, uh, on this, uh, on this truck with this salvage title. And so, you know, I, I got this policy for $1,289 is the cheapest policy I could find last year because of this goddamn salvage title. I could have gotten insurance at GEICO for $760, but because of this salvage title, uh, I finally ended up at Progressive paying $1,289, and then I had that little wreck in my fucking driveway down there in Florida, uh, going two miles an hour in my own in, in my own driveway, and uh, so they paid off three thousand dollars. I spent one thousand dollars to fix my truck and put two thousand dollars in my pocket. Fuckers claimed they were going to raise my premium by about three hundred dollars. Well, they ended up raising it about nine hundred dollars to two thousand two hundred and one dollar because of this claim that i made in my own driveway uh so what you know nine hundred from basically from thirteen hundred to twenty two hundred dollars uh and so my policy runs out next week so i'm back to the drawing board trying to find a company. So I just called the same company that insured my truck down in Texas, American National. They had no problem uh, with this, uh, you know, with this uh, salvage title, just like they had no problem with it when they were insuring it in Texas. Don't know why I called them from the very beginning. Well, they gave me a quote of $1,628. So I have one at 2200 then I have one for 1628 so you always get a third quote. So I just, uh, I just Googled auto insurance brokers in Ithaca, New York, threw a dart, came up uh, with this brokerage. They found me a policy at Erie Insurance, E-R-I-E. And I just want to throw out, does anybody out there have any history with Erie Insurance? So at Erie Insurance, the same policy for the entire year, $1,120, essentially one half the price of Progressive. What is that? Uh, almost $200 cheaper than Progressive's original policy, $1,120. Uh, they said they don't give a, 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 a fuck about the claim I made at Progressive uh, since I have a spotlessly clean driving record. Uh, I have a clean driving record, so I'm getting safe driver. I'm an old fart now. I'm getting some old fart insurance. Uh, I'm, I also have other insurance policies, even though they're not with Erie, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and, and they said they had no fucking problem 
with the salvage title, one half the price. And uh, so I told him I would see him on Friday to get this insurance policy. So here is the catch they made. Uh, talking about this, just this weird, crazy shit you come up. Here is, here is the deal they're making with me on this salvage title. That they are going to insure the salvage title on this condition. And that's that if I have a wreck, I have a wreck, and my truck gets totaled, that their insurance adjuster considers my truck to be totaled. Uh, of course, I have my $500 deductible, but in addition to that, they are going to take one-third of the value of my truck off of my payout in addition to the, uh, to the $500 deductible. So he said, okay, so he said, so we insure you on this title. You have a wreck. Uh, you total your truck and a 2013 uh, Toyota Tacoma, you know, with your whatever. Let's say it's worth $10,000. It says, okay, normally, uh, if we determine that truck was worth $10,000, uh, we would pay you $9,500. However, because this truck has been totaled in the past, even though the payoff went to another person and not me, they're going to take $3,300 off of the $10,000 and, of course, my $500 for $3,800. So... If my truck gets valued at $10,000, my payoff would be $6,200 is the check they would send me in the event that my truck is totaled. And so as long as I am willing to take that exception in the coverage that they are going to, uh, if I'm willing to take that exception, they're going to give me an identical policy to progressive uh, for one half the amount of money. So I googled complaints against Erie Auto Insurance and found out that uh, they have a little bit of a bad track record in paying claims that they they get a three and a half out of five on uh, on claims paying that uh, they are one of the lower cost insurance things and uh, just good luck when you try to get them to pay a claim and uh, so hopefully I will not have a claim and uh, so anyway, unless somebody out there has had a problem with Erie Auto Insurance, I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger. But anyway, guys, always get three quotes. Always <coughs> get three quotes uh, on, on insurance. So what does that mean? I am now paying per year in insurance 1120 on my truck 230 on the Maggie May so that is 1350 I'm paying 900 on the Hambone Hilton not counting flood so that is, what did I say, 1350 plus my 2250 plus $600 on, two, on flood insurance, $2,850 uh, on insurance getting $752 from Social Security, 
so what my first three and a half my first three and a half social security checks go to pay insurance uh, and then my taxes will eat the next two and a half so the my first five social security checks will pay for my taxes and insurance for one year so uh, what is that five out of my 12 Social Security checks paying for taxes and insurance. But welcome to uh, walking with feet in both worlds. What do you think, Sancho? Are you walking in the world of chipmunks and squirrelies? But anyway, guys, get out there and enjoy walking with your feet in both worlds till one of these worlds just goes bye bye. And we don't have to worry about fucking taxes and insurance. We'll be nowhere on your list of things to think about soon enough. But until then, good luck with this brain-eating bullshit. But I gotta get out, get down there and make me a big old pot of homegrown organic mashed potatoes. Make me a big old pot of hot gooey mashed potatoes. It's gonna be 45 degrees here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Bye guys.